Hi folks, the Kayaking Kid here. Thank you very much for all the support you guys have given me over the last few years. It's been brilliant. Um, some videos have done better than others, but generally it's been amazing. This is one of my technical videos. So, those of you who have followed this box through the evolution that it's came through, you're about to be amazed. This is the battery box of the future. It's effectively lighter. Um, cheaper to run, it's got more features on it, it's got more outputs on it and it, it's not waterproof anymore which is not really anything an issue, it's not going to cause me a problem as I use a dry bag in the kayak and if it's in the tent, well it's dry anyway. So this is the box, um, the solar charger, I thought it was a nice addition on the front because of the, the digital readout, it lets you know what's going on in the box at that time. I put a switch on it, which is nice and discreet, tucked out of the way, so you don't inadvertently bump the switch, switch it off or on when you're not needing it. This is the inside of the box. We have the 12 amp hour battery on the left, with the switch and inline fuse. The solar sockets on the right, as you can see here. There are two of them, so I can double up on the, the solar power input. Now those, all those wires go up to this solar charge controller from the USB ports to the battery to the solar input ports. This is the circuit. Now it's very crudely drawn but uh, I'll give you a good idea. I was requested the last time I'd done the battery box to give a sample of the, the circuit which I couldn't really do because the video was already on. So here is the circuit in advance. We have the solar controller. Here is a live and neutral solar input ports. Now there is a that's where the cigarette sockets are on the right hand side of the box there are a pair of them. So I could add a second solar panel and double up on the wattage coming into this solar controller. I have the battery which stores the, the energy produced by the solar panel. There's a switch on and off um, because if I'm going to leave it for a long time there's an LCD display on the solar controller. So it would drain it. So I switch it off, unplug the solar panel and there is no drain on the battery. The output is a load. Now you could have anything. I have USB sockets and a 12 volt socket. Uh, I've got four USB sockets and a 12 volt socket along with the two USB sockets on the solar controller. So that is plenty. I plugged them in today and I was drawing about two amps. Now the two amp draw from the battery will reduce if it's sunny because it won't need to put the energy back into the battery it will just drain energy straight from the solar panel straight into the load so that's what the solar panels uh, solar controllers job is also if it's dark at night um, the battery may put voltage back into the solar panel it would drain through the solar panel there is uh, diodes in there to prevent that happening this is the display on the solar charge controller it has a lot of functions. You can switch off and on the load. You can cycle through various uh, menus within the controller and set up the, the cut off voltage, um, switch on after re discharge voltage, uh, battery type. There's, there's lots. That's me, folks. I uh, hope you've liked this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, do all the other things you do. Um, but this was in action today. It was, uh, it was quite, quite comical. I had as much as I could possibly put on it today and it worked great. Thanks again.